today is the fourth series of fourth session of the series that is the digestive disorder all the diseases from your mouth to anus and all the problem uh, we are facing with our body is related with the mouth to anus organs and the problem related with that organs madam is uh, very clearly explaining all the details all the uh, diseases all the problems along with the, the protocols now very happily we can invite our madam pubinder kaur to this platform smiley winning ma'am welcome ma'am now we can take care of the session ma'am thank you thank you so much for your presence smile evening smile evening to everyone smile evening uh am i audible i cannot see my video yes ma'am oh so smile evening smile evening to everyone i am very glad to feel your presence and uh, we will continue our journey so digestive disorders and uh, also not only digestive system disorders we have so many diseases and uh, we will try to cover in our coming le uh, coming lessons so for example uh, respiratory system nervous system skin disease muscle disease bone disease like this tissue yes we will try to cover and uh, we will uh, try our best to train you to teach you in such a manner so that you can practice in your home so last time also i tried we went very slowly because fast also i can go but ultimate purpose is that you learn little but the thing is that you should uh, do it uh, on your own uh, you can help yourself and you can help your family member and friends okay now before i start because today i wanted to focus liver um, diseases and but before i uh, start my lesson i just want to say one thing because i always discuss that uh, you have to focus your lifestyle also L focusing lifestyle is very very important you are uh, really focusing your lifestyle you will heal very soon for example if i put up this question to you that do you go for a walk hmm you have to put tick mark or wrong if uh, if you are not going for a walk okay for example if you have any issue uh, some leg problem or knee problem then the second question is that are you doing some sitting exercises you see uh, life is movement movement is symbol of life whenever you are not moving or any part of your body which is not moving will uh, have less of life energy you should remember you should know you know already that uh, what happens when person dies yes no movement at all and uh, we have seen many people uh, bedridden yes when they lie down on the bed they don't move they have bed sores so why these bed sores are appearing because no movement no movement yes so uh, when your body part you can uh, you have experienced in your life for example sleeping everyone likes that if you if you sleep more than uh, your uh, natural time then or you lie down most of the time instead of feeling active you will feel lazy if you are sleeping lying down according to the natural laws then uh, you will feel very fresh but if you lie down more than natural orders natural laws then you will feel lazy so you have experienced in your life and the great thing is that when you are not moving yes when you're not moving in that area for example arm not moving for long time this arm will have this arm uh, will uh, have less of life force 
we talk about life forces when we are studying meridians we are studying chakras what is this yes we are studying energy world so many types of therapies you are doing what is that we are practicing we are uh, we are focusing life energies with chakra with meridians we try to we try to upgrade we try to you know enhance our energy system that is life energy very simple thing is that that is why our guru professor park jevo when he taught this sujog therapy not only just sujog and finding point and doing treatment he introduced twist therapy twist gymnastic yes smile tai chi smile yoga yes why because he uh, he understood all uh, the patterns of healing system because we need all not just putting some colors or point yes that is required but we have to look from holistic point of view yes we have to really uh, focus all uh, concept you see in the nature in the nature also everything is moving particles are moving atoms are moving yes everything is moving in the nature and you see uh, not only uh, metaphysical particles but physical particles atom world is moving so movement is symbol of life yes so now if we don't move you we can experience if you really want to stay young if you really want to uh, you know stay energetic then movement is very important nature is move, moving you see seasons are changing winter season spring season summer season and then uh, autumn season like this you see nature is also there is no stagnation in the nature nature is also moving rivers are flowing wherever river is stagnated you see wherever water is stagnated that dirty smell comes yes that is uh, not good mosquitoes and dirty smell and fungus stagnation produces this kind of uh, situation you see the stagnation water same way if our body is not moving any part is not moving then stagnation will produce this kind of result so sometimes we are thinking that we become old oh now this is our time to sit and relax no never never we should have this thing in our mind that we have become old first of all this outside criteria is body criteria body can become old but inner energy never it can never never become old if you are really taking care of your inner energy system until last breath of life we can stay very active there are so many people on the earth they are old 100 plus also but they are working very actively they are not dependent they are they are working they are doing their own works why because they are moving yes moving many other things uh, so first thing is that is why i want to say that if uh, how is your lifestyle how is your lifestyle because we are talking about digestive system maybe next time we will talk about our respiratory system but we need that but with all these things with all kind with all these treatment we have to focus lifestyle for sure otherwise no treatment can help us when we do treatment then if we don't focus our lifestyle then disease will come back again so first thing is that pay attention to your lifestyle and movement is very important you you, you should do some yoga you should do some exercise you should do some walking yes and if uh, walking is not possible at least oh <laughs> manju what you are writing <laughs> so uh, <clears throat> so you should uh, really focus your physical movements now second thing is when we do physical movements this is one uh, criteria second thing is that uh, what we are eating this is also very important because the digestive system is uh, ultimate digestive system is processing so what we are eating 
yes sometimes dumping food and filling our stomach we are feeling hungry and we are just dumping food in our stomach so this is not enough what we are eating we have to focus the quality we have to focus the time when we are eating what we are eating this is also very important for our health yes this is the second thing food is very important and according to the season whatever good vegetables and fruits we have as per the season don't need to focus very expensive fruits expensive food which is available in the market seasonal fruits seasonal vegetables are always uh, yes cheap so we should have because nature has designed fruits in particular season some vegetable in particular season for a purpose yes because all vegetables and fruits have healing properties and if we eat according to the season for example if season kiwi is not in the season that better don't eat and if you see a uh, in cold storage that is not healthy food so now second thing is that you have to focus your eating you have to focus your food then third thing is yes sleep sleep is very important these days we have become very busy yes very very busy and uh, night time we uh, don't take proper sleep and sometimes we are thinking that we sleep late and we will get up late this is not good idea nature has a plan for us nature has a very good plan that is why this night time uh, nature designed in such a way that is why darkness is there so that all people can uh, go to go rest because these light you see when you see the lights and uh, electricity you imagine that there is no electricity so it means this is like you know, technical part but if you remove this technical part then you will understand that what god has planned for us what creator has planned for us so it means night time darkness means you cannot see what is the sign this creator is speaking to us yes these days we have uh, electricity and we have lot of light so as if we assume that this is daytime in home this is daytime but think from nature point of view yes night is darkness so this is a symbol that we should sleep in time and that night time sleep and when to sleep yes sometimes whole night we are not sleeping and then morning we are sleeping no darkness means this is sleep time so very very important because these days we see late movies we are getting uh, late hours yes and uh, whatsapp mobile so this is re really sinking our energy you know we have to give very good environment to our body very very important body is so intelligent i want to say body is so intelligent that body can heal body can uh, recover very fast if you give opportunity to body and if you create good environment in body and if you allow your divine energy to work for you it will work yes body is very 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 intelligent yes because now inside us is 99 percentage which is unseen which is very powerful this is metaphysical world and also we can say divine world is there there but our this one percentage this physical body or physical you know, what volunteer we are doing so this this is creating obstacles in the environment of our inner body you can just close sometimes your eyes and just allow that divine energy to work for you you understand just allow and work for you sometimes one minute calmness can heal your body that is why sleep food walking and then meditation if these three four things you do it every day and you have to make a routine for yourself you have you should be very determined mind you have to be very very determined mind that i want to transform my energy i want to get up i want to heal i want to you know not, not just medicines doctor is putting medicine in your mouth and you feel good this is temporary and so many side effects are there and also when you are doing alternative medicines treatment that is also good giving you very good result but then again uh, disease is coming back so we have to make a uh, really formula formula and we have to find time for ourselves it is very very important and i ensure you that you try for one month 
serious practice yes you try for one month and if you don't see freshness and if you don't see any result okay you can return back to your old habits one one month night time in correct time don't see movies television during night time sleep early and get up early morning time little yoga smile yoga what time is ideal to get up in the morning okay yes so you see rising sun time is the best time best time just few minutes before and if you have opportunity in your home terrace balcony if your house has park or you have parks near your home yes very good to see rising sun if you cannot see okay sunlight is everywhere yes do pranayam yes and brahm murat morning energies uh, so beautiful energies no pollutions very beautiful you see divine energy is flowing this universe is not a dead universe this universe is alive universe yes a lot of pollution is there in the environment these days not only physical pollution is there but also metaphysical pollution is there physical pollution you know that you see vehicle pollution dust all these pollutions are there smoking is there so this physical pollution we see but also we have metaphysical pollution because many people they are uh, radiating some or the other kind of emotions some person is angry some person is sad some person is you know anxiety has anxiety so you know these mind particles because mind energy is metaphysical energies and can multiply can expand each person is radiating some energy and this energy goes in the environment and this is called metaphysical pollution now morning time when i say morning time morning time most of the time you will see there is uh, less physical pollution less vehicles on the road and also less emotional particles in the environment most of the time people uh, sleeping okay and then if you meditate and if you do pranayam in this time with smile you will feel great energy one month you do it and you will see great shift in your body in your mind and in your consciousness you don't need also healing tools because you have heard in your you have heard in books you have read the books that all healing tools are hidden inside us then what are these healing tools this these are the tools inside us which needs good environment so that these tools can work for you okay so very simple things very very simple things because when you are forming this good habit it will take time and maybe initially it will look difficult also because new new habit getting up early getting a uh, sleeping uh, early like this so this is new habit and it is little difficult also but if you are determined mind yes if you are determined mind then you will never give up then it means you have decided that i want to experience my beautiful energy and i want to see how my inner healing is activated so i have this mission i have this determination so for one month like a fast religiously for one month i will do this four habits eating you will become conscious what you are eating if you are eating wrong food please now you have wisdom now lot of informations are there these days okay what to eat what not to eat like yes you will eat very nicely with wisdom you will get up early you will sleep early you will do walking you will do yoga you will do exercise and if you uh, this have once this habit is built up then it will not suck your extra time or extra energy then spontaneously it will happen and you will not come to know also that uh, i am i am following good habits you don't need to do any effort initially you have to do effort but then later you don't need to do any efforts okay and great change will come last thing i want to say uh, our guru sentence smile smile with the awareness but this smile when we say smile that is why Mm, many times you have heard that we are all the time saying smile morning smile evening smile afternoon smile also joke family people you say all smile family people say smile evening so 
external smile and inner smile you have your inner baby smile the smile that smile which you had which you uh, received from him and and in mother's womb also in embryo state you were smiling you were smiling yes that was unconditional smile yes uh, no desires no uh, extra physical world wishes but just smiling pure smiling and embryo smile very calm smile and you see very calm environment in the uterus and brahma force and all forces were working in the uterus and was creating that embryo and embryo to full uh, baby perfect baby baby so that smile we have lost that smile now we have external smile we have just external smile means inside we are crying inside we are sad inside we are anxious but outside we are smiling so this smile is external smile and inside we don't have smile so but you know that divine power is there inside your great power is there inside and feeling the having this kind of sense if you smile yes if you smile you will see your inner when your inner smile and external smiles are aligned then great sparkles great energy is activated yes and when you are really smiling this way like a small uh, newly born baby pure smile you are very close to god you are very very close to god and and now i want to come back to my sujog topic from this topic to this sujog how this connection um, you can feel that sujog science says that whenever there uh, whenever there uh, are uh, two things whenever you see two similar things energy exchange is very good this is all sujog science because of this similarity principle you see hand is similar to human body and body is reflected on the hand so hand is very similar to human body very very similar to human body that is why why god has given similarity on the hand because of this principle that when two things are similar energy exchange is very fast so this principle similarity principle of similarity means if you are really smiling if you are really smiling that smile embryo smile yes now also you can smile even one second smile you become very close to god because god smile is pure embryo smile is pure your smile is pure so once you activate your pure smile jisme koi chal nahi koi kapat nahi which is very free from all hatred and jealousy and anxious when you really smile you are very close to god in fact i will say that you are god and god is inside you that energy starts moving because of similarity principle principle when you become pure yes so if you really want gift from him yes don't find the gifts from outside and don't find solution outside yes you can just go inside and just activate your god inside god is there inside you have to just activate yes when you do prayers realize this that he is inside us so this is the most beautiful worship that when you really feel his presence inside your body inside your mind inside your core that he is there and then uh, this when you feel this power inside and smile comes and then you will be free from all jealousy and hatred and you will never have jealousy you will never have hatred because you know that i can have more than him because i am with him or he is with me i am radiating pure smile i am with my pure emotion smiling energy i am you are full of kindness grace yes compassion yes so this kind of energy yes you god is here this is god's creator's energy or you can say scientific force energy whatever energy you say you say god or whatever you want to say you can say but there is very beautiful pure force which has created this wonderful universe yes so this is very supreme higher force we can say uh, god in our language because we need some language so we can say god you can give name 
uh, uh, you choose any name but there is some higher force this higher force has created this universe and also this higher force is operating this universe very pure smiling energy peaceful energy but we are here we are we can also fly up but but anxiety sadness and complaining nagging talking negative so we become like uh, you know uh, uh, i can give you example air balloon and water balloon air balloon goes up water balloon goes down dhap tha yes but if you really want that his grace should flow in your life you should really become very light and then automatically your energy will reach his level he is always sitting there yes his grace is for everyone the same all are his sons and daughters all are his sons and daughters so his grace the shower is for everyone but our container is not ready we are not ready yes we are very busy we are very heavy water balloon mind is more involved and uh, this that complaining nagging he did this to me and that and he and a lot of competitive feelings are there because you don't know your higher power that is why we have all kinds of negative emotions the moment you understand that all solutions are here the moment you understand that there is a this is abundant universe the moment you understand that all beautiful gifts all wonderful things are available only when you reach here then you will not have the sense of jealousy you will not have fear even you have lost your big property or big things doesn't matter you can gain everything yes you have to reach so <clears throat> when we become light and peaceful yes so our energies go up up he is always there our energy goes up 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 and we become like him you see now you understand become like a baby pure when you are uh, acting and reacting in your uh, physical <clears throat> all routine life how you act how you react yes how you give how you take yes all with mor moralities and very smiling energy you become and as a result you see your energy is uplifted body is down maybe sitting on the chair but your energy ascends your energy ascends 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 and then he is sitting here similarity principle says that energy exchange two things similar your energy becomes like him then god's grace comes in your life then god's grace comes in your energy as a result not only small problem is solved not only your disease is solved you will have wondrous body wondrous mind your body capacity will increase you can see you can experience in your life you can run you can have new innumerable ab uh, abilities yes you can do multi works you can become multi task you can uh, mind capacity will grow yes your patience will grow your mind capacity will grow and your nervous system will become very strong then you can mm, you know face all challenges of life your life capacity your aura your smile will increase and not only it will heal you it will heal others also the very simple small tips which if you really want to change your life if you really want to transform your life then you have to start with this journey yes so little change in lifestyle and now you can do your treatment with this because very quick response you do color therapy very quick response is coming and also disease will not come back again you do seed therapy you do color therapy you do magnet therapy whatever therapy you do you are always successful 100% successful okay so now i hope you are ready to bring beautiful changes though i know that you all have wisdom maybe you are practicing very good lifestyle but always we have to upgrade more and more okay so now <clears throat> uh 
liver. <clears throat> now, liver, liver. So <clears throat> there are so many diseases, if you see from a uh, disease point of view. Now, Sujo correspondent system, <clears throat> like uh, from beginner's point of view. Also, before I say, before I start liver disease, I want to say one thing that, as I said, that practice smile. The smile is part of smile meditation. Okay. So if you really want that smile meditation should come in our life, if you're really ready, then, then in future for our, this beautiful Kerala group, we will start smile meditation sessions. And if you really have intention, I'm ready. I'm really ready. And collectively, we can ascend holding each other's hand and we can have some plan so that collectively we can do smile meditation because sometimes weak, one weak person, then in collective energy, that weak person also ascends because to form a habit, we need support. Once our habit is formed, if for example, one month continuously we do, okay? Some particular time, maybe morning like this, one month, two months, we do it continuously, then it will become, then it will become part of your life. And then you don't need any support, yes? Then you will not need your, anyone's support. So if you are ready, really ready, then we can start our smile meditation journey because we all are healers. Also we are uh, maybe patients also, we can say patients and we also have patients. If you are radiating, we can give smile to others. If our container is empty and we are doing treatment, this is not harmony, okay? So, good. So, Lalita Madam can uh, think and she's always ready. And if all participants are ready, you can tell Madam and then she will organize. And this is free sessions, okay? You should make best of uh, use of this opportunity. Okay, now liver <clears throat> disease. So there are so many uh, diseases. Let's see the points. Okay, yes, I am ready. When everyone is ready, in fact, I should say that all people, there are so many members in this Kerala group. Can you imagine if 5,000 people smiling together in one time such a powerful energy we can generate you know and god will send tool how to conduct how to operate and in this strong uh, charge of energy you see all negativity can melt and all disease can such a power of collective smile meditation you know we have 5000 people 5,000 smile meditation, 5,000 bulb of smile when shining can remove the darkness of our body, remove the darkness of our mind and also of our life. Okay. Now you see the liver, okay? Now liver is very important organ in our body. Like below the diaphragm, if we see that Liver is the biggest organ, the heaviest organ, and liver is doing around 500 works. So that is why this is my, uh, in my clinical practice, I always pay attention to liver. Even patient does not say that I have liver disease, but always, always, uh, uh, always liver points you should give attention. Now, now you all know that hand is similar to human body, middle two fingers are legs and side two fingers are, are arm and thumb is representing head and neck. And this central part of this palm region is representing our um, abdomen organs. Also there is overlapping concept, but from digestive point of view, this is very easy to find the point of liver. I will draw on my hand and I will show to you. Okay, I will show to you. See, now, uh, first, let us see where is the point 
Also now most of you are aware of uh, finger therapy because all uh, I believe that all people are aware of finger therapy, but someday we can have revision also. From time to time, we will have this session because I know that in this group, many people come uh, new, maybe join today like this. So we need to, we have to focus all people because all as soon as you join in this group, you become uh, our family. Yes, so we have to focus new babies and we have to focus senior also. So we will always have this kind of uh, session so that we can nourish our young. When I say baby, it is not about your body age, a baby in sujok field like this. So liver is occupying very uh, big part on our hand because in, in our body also, liver has big place you see in our body. Okay, this is your this is your fingers first, and first you see the picture, and you can keep the screenshot also. So first you see the picture, and then I will make on my hand. So you see this liver, first phalange, second phalange, and third phalange because this is uh, now because when I'm doing practical, I will show even intestine diseases, also liver disease, also uh, piles, and so let us first focus the pictures and then I will show on my hand. So here, middle, this finger, we have eight fingers and also we have thumbs. Even thumb also has this insect system. Uh, not only eight fingers, but thumb also has a representation of body. Now this finger, yes, like symbol of Trinity, sky, yes, or we can say heaven, earth and the middle uh, part between heaven and the earth, between sky and the earth. Trinity concept, our body, our body is so beautifully designed by the creator that this Trinity concept is clearly seen in many parts of our body. This is according to our science, we say tri-origin, Trinity. So you understand in India, we say Trinity concept. And now Professor Pal Chegu has given new name, Tri-Origin. So uh, here in finger, we have Trinity concept, Brahma, Vishnu, Mahesh, like this. We have top part, top, top part is representing Brahma and middle part is representing your Vish Vishnu force. And this down part is food representing Shiva force, Trinity concept, okay? And in our body also, our central body also has three uh, parts, you see, head, head along with the neck, this is one part, chest and abdomen, Trinity is there. Everywhere you will see triogen symbols. Everywhere you will see Brahma, Vishnu, Mahesha. Where is Brahma, Vishnu, Mahesha? Brahma, Vishnu, Mahesha is here in actions, in reactions, in, in constructions. Our body is very beautiful, uh, designed under this trinity concept. You see arm, not only fingers. Finger has three parts. When you see arms, arm also has three parts head, chest, abdomen. When you see central body, central body also has three parts. You see head, chest, abdomen. When you see legs, leg also has three parts, thigh region, calf region, and the foot. Yes, then you see toes, you see fingers, beautifully treaty, trinity, treaty. But mean, uh, your creator has created um, living beings, animal body. Also, when you see, when you compare human body with the animal body, human body has the most beautiful shape, most beautiful. And Brahma, Vishnu, Mahesha, you will see is present in uh, human body. You can see many symbols of Trinity in all parts of human body. That is why human body is considered as the most highest upgraded body. Why I explained this, that this body has such a high capacity to heal, such a high capacity to rejuvenate. So finger, again, is the micro system. Finger is the micro, uh, very, uh, finger is very small. And the more the smaller area, the more it is affected. Central body has three parts, arm has three parts, 
leg has three part finger and toes very small yes now this finger system is not only in the fingers but also in the toes toes you see this finger has three parts and toe also has three part it means whatever points we will we are practicing on the fingers for all chronic cases especially very very important to stimulate the points of toes do, we don't uh, pay attention to the points of toes points of toe in sex system but for chronic cases you will find the most painful point in the toes sometimes just finding correct one point can heal your disease sometimes one sitting professor palji who used to say that if you succeed in finding the correct point it is like a victory many people they don't succeed in such a beautiful simple system this picture is available everywhere you see google you will find this but such a great power is this picture and such a great power because our hand this finger is so similar to human body and if you have understood that when two things are similar energy exchange is very fast yes so if we find the point correctly if we find and if we we stimulate correctly you can see it is like uh, electromagnetic waves are created and you know what happens when there is liver disease or any disease in the body then these are uh, points on the hand points on the toes points on the sole points on the fingers yes these areas will develop painful point which is related to your body disease and in our science we say that these points are correspondent point okay now what happens when disease comes in the body for example patient has fatty liver patient has liver disease now that area big that area in the body liver area yes so disease has come it means all points related to liver this is called liver family liver organ is in one place please understand but points actually each cell has information of complete body you came in mother's womb with one cell and then multiplied okay multiplication happened and many cells and many uh, system organ tissue all collected and big body was created so but there are trillions of cells in our body but all cells even each cell is individual they are working as a team group but also it has very beautiful individuality so there are among trillions of cells there are some cells which are very very closely connected to your liver organ so this one example is if i am giving this example for liver then this is uh, same types of same type of understanding is applicable for all organs so if person has liver disease then all points all family that is why you have study you you study many therapies okay and in many therapy according to that therapy liver point is here according to this therapy liver meridian is here it means this is all liver family and all these points become uh, these points will receive this disease waves when disease is there then disease energy yes or this is called a uh, negative or bad energy so disease energy will come will flow to these points because family members but among all points yes maybe two points or one point or three point that point it will be very closely connected to the diseased organ means disease we say that is master point so you should not be tired of searching because 
you see you have many points but our sujog system is so precise so beautiful so systematic that even you see 10 liver points it will you will not exhaust because very systematic uh, location and easy to remember how to do how to search according to main system how to search according to insect system how to search according to mini system so some people they just do finger one finger and they finish their treatment and they don't try to find the point also they just know oh this is liver okay i should put one green color or i should put i should put uh, see if you really want to do good color therapy then very good that you find in that area you try to find the painful point and in that area if you do seed or colors that will have more effect very very effective okay so first now i want to show all liver points on my hand and then i will show you treatment and then some theory part about liver diseases okay but side by side i am telling you about all those metaphysical techniques which we need to add okay now i will share my screen and share my camera just down with my another laptop. Okay. Because this liver is very important organ, we should not only for digestive system, but even for brain also. You cannot think, oh, why? Why liver with brain? You know, those who know Sujo, they know that uh, liver is making long bule with brain. So if liver is healthy, your brain is also healthy. Some people, those who have liver disease, you will see that in these people, uh, their memory, memory is not very good. Memory decreases sometimes. Uh, brain cloud like this if liver, liver collapses it will immediately affect your brain also and that is why it is important that uh, when you are preparing food in the kitchen you have to make sure that we don't use uh, some chemicals in our food uh, because this will have a lot of side effect in coming time and these days uh, children they like to you eat fast food like noodles, maggi, and they like to eat burgers. Once in a while, it is okay. But their liver, if they are eating these kinds of food in daily routine, their liver is uh, will become weak. Yes, and that is why. And if you really want that, your child brain should be very good and sharp and good memory because. According to our science, uh, liver also is. You also know in five elements. Yes, you know that some relation with the liver and brain. Yes, and then parents, liver is wind and brain and heart is in the fire element. So liver is mother, liver is parent. And also in our... Um, Yes, burger can be prepared home. I am reading in the chat box. Yes, with good ingredients. You know that you are, you have to, you have wisdom. You know that if you're preparing in home, you're putting lots of vegetables, not so much of cheese. So very good healthy burger is okay. But all the time you have to think that add variety in your children food. These days we are not focusing because we are also in a hurry. Parents are also working. So they quickly pack Tiffin like this. So from the, because childhood is the correct age where you can for, form habit because parents are busy. That is why they they try they don't do extra efforts to create good habits in children. They don't create yes. But child is such a age in such a age that whatever habits you want to put inside his lifestyle you can just do it and then later when this child will grow then you cannot do it only in the young age okay so we will focus median also and we will focus correspondent point also first main system this is our hand okay 
Now for digestive system, first you have to, if you really want to mark correct liver point, feel this square. Yes, we are not drawing on patient hand, but initially one time, two times, or at least four times when you draw on hand, then you will never forget. And then in when you fold patient hand, then you can just uh, imagine because you have this picture in your mind and with your imagination, you can reach the correct point. Now this square, you need to divide into three parts, okay? Liver is very important organ. You should press this uh, point every day. Okay. First, good lifestyle. Don't forget this. Okay. Now, in both hand. Okay. In left hand, I will draw full picture. In right hand, I will just write. Now, if you remember, uh, when we mark stomach, now liver is neighbor of stomach. Okay. First, you should know where is stomach. If you know, I told you in my last class that find the center point. Okay. Find the center point. Then make question mark like this. This is question mark. So we will get perfect stomach. Now this is question mark and this is left side and liver is in the right side. So one side is stomach, you know, now this is liver. Now how to make correct liver? This is important. Here you see this point, the corner diagonal. This is your liver is uh, Main, this is located on the right side, but left lobe of liver is coming in the left side also. So liver has two lobes. In picture, it is not correctly, you cannot see, but here I can show. Okay, so this is your liver and gallbladder is here. See this corner and just find in this angle. This is for measurement and here you will find gallbladder. And this is very big organ. This is liver. Okay, now if you succeed in left hand, then very easy to find in right hand because liver, this is your trunk. Yes, this is your trunk. And in trunk, whether you see five people, same position. This is liver. And here you make question mark, this is stomach. So this is liver. Okay, and this is right side. So we are keeping in standard correspondence system, we are keeping our hand like this, leg touching the ground. And I told you that near the left thumb, this is very easy uh, point, very simple way to remember that stump, this uh, thumb is left. Yes, this is left thumb. So naturally, you know that near the left thumb, this is all left territory. This is very easy way to remember. Okay. This is left thumb. 
and near the left thumb this is this is all left territory then this leftover place this is automatically this is right territory so liver is located on in this right area and just near the wrist yes just near the wrist this is and you know that upper one third now in right hand if you have understood in left hand then right hand is very easy because you keep like this liver will never change as i told you you see five people 10 people liver place is not changing now right hand you see where is liver now you keep like this or you keep like this and you see liver place will never change in both hand overlapping will come liver so if with left hand i cannot draw but this side is liver same kind of drawing see now don't focus fingers because here left thumb and stomach are partner here right thumb and liver partner we are not focusing thumb here this only we can focus that this is right thumb and means this is right territory so our idea is very clear liver is in the right side yes so this is right thumb and we know that liver is in the right side so you keep this way or this way you learn in one hand second hand is just overlapping you have to just keep it and here is the liver same way just above you will find the liver point we should know both because you never know when we are treating because our idea is to find the um, curative our idea is to find the correct point okay so first we will mark all points this is called basic system correspondent point of liver okay so we have two livers here left liver and right liver and then in foot also in foot okay now this is uh, not clear don't don't focus this drawing so liver is you see middle two toes are representing legs so you keep like this when you keep hand like this same way you're keeping your hand a foot direction like this here again you have to divide into three don't focus this drawing this is wrong so when you divide this foot into three part one you can imagine one two and three same story and then you know find the center point immediately draw question mark and fulfill this area with stomach and automatically you know neighbor is liver so how to find liver with the help of stomach find the center point of the wrist and make question mark or find the center point of the heel and make question mark and then whatever area is left is the home of liver okay so in heel this is liver in in this is left foot in right foot also you will turn this foot like this keep foot like this and don't see finger toes you just see heel in right foot also find the center make good round curve question mark and whatever area is left is the liver area yes but this area generally it is cracked and sometimes soft area then we can find the points but sometimes it is cracked so uh, not easy to find the points uh, this is hard area also but this toe area is very good for finding liver points so now in finger system we have to be very clear no confusion at all in sojok science we have many systems and each system actually we have 22 correspondence system okay and then each correspondence system will have many details type 1 type 2 like this so you have to be uh, you have you have to increase your capacity because we should know at least um, not just one point we should know multiple points because you see we have many people walking on the earth and some people yes different consciousness each point has different consciousness like if liver is in the left hand this liver has uh, liver this is liver of course but this liver in this hand has some consciousness 
and liver in this hand also has some different kind of consciousness each finger again now finger as complete body so never hesitate and because easy to find liver logic is there even if you have 10 points don't worry and then treatments become simple because very quickly we will search painful point now a, this is main system okay main system this is big trunk we see complete body here now in this we have to focus uh, finger in finger we have to focus complete body okay now see because when you do treatment if you have good clarity in your mind your treatment becomes very effective but if you're just thinking oh where is liver point just tell me where is point some people they ask me give me point oh no you should have very good clarity why liver point is here that consciousness, that trinity consciousness, you see. So this is top floor, first floor, second floor, third floor. Three department, tri trinity. Okay, trinity. Brahma, Vishnu, Mahesh. It's very good. It's like worshipping. And don't uh, hesitate, don't feel tired. And finding point, you can bring big smile on patient face. So now you see this body and just pick up this and keep it here. Tell me now. Face, top floor, top floor. You see this is towards the earth. Okay. So this part is also towards, this is root, this towards the earth and head is free fingertips are representing your head so now when you divide this part into three this is your someday we will study all face diseases also there are many but i want to go very slowly because i want you to really treat i can go very quickly but master even you uh, learn uh, four diseases, four, five diseases, you can help many people. Instead of quantity, quality is very important. So face, this becomes neck, and this becomes your chest, middle floor. See, face, top floor, chest, middle floor, and this is your abdomen. So our digestive system, our abdomen is, our liver is here. Now how to see liver here? Yes, again, you will divide this area into three parts. One, two. And we have skin and bone level also, but now I'm focusing easy way for bigness. So this is your square part. Idea is as soon as you uh, reach abdomen, divide that part, divide into three parts. Simple. Now, Focus here. You see, sometimes very serious liver disease. So you have to be so accurate. You should have patience. So there, there are multiple liver points and it is there. This all cell system is working as a colony family where is the culprit point where is the enemy enemy and professor park j who after doing so many researches he said that there are so many points you cannot even count even in the central body liver point is there even in your mouth liver point is there even in your eyes liver point is there even in your scalp liver point is there everywhere even in your nail but this sujok because this sujok is showing similarity principle instead of searching here and there you try to search as per sujok knowledge on Sujok platform, then you are very close to the most closest liver points. You will have many liver points, but this Sujok liver point is under the banner of triorigin, like I told you, face, chest, abdomen. 
And if I say liver is here, liver is here. Yes, of course, each point has information of liver. You can find here, you can find here, you can find here, you can find here. But I point is out of billions and trillions of point, which points are very, very effective. And that is our Sujok signs, which out of trillions of points, hundred thousands of points, if you master these points and, and these points, if you really master, you can really help the patient. So this is the diagram. And now how to find liver point and side by side, you can revise your stomach also. So stomach last time we studied, question mark because liver and stomach are together in the abdomen here. This is stomach and here is liver. This is liver in your body, right side. Okay, so stomach, in this framework, you can fill up stomach and this complete area is liver and this is right side, but it will also cover the left side. This is all liver point. Okay, so you know what you will do initially, better for if you're learning sujuk, everyone should have this white gel pen. Next time when you sit in the class, you keep this white gel pen with you. It is available in the stationery shop. This is used for coloring, shading, drawing. Uh, students are using this pen. So I like this pen very much and you can clean very easily. You rub and it is like a chalk. Very easily you can clean. So here also this is liver point. Because this side is stomach, then you may imagine question mark. So this will occupy stomach place. So this is liver. Okay, you can take screenshot also. You should practice with me. If you're with your pen, then you can practice with me. For good result, we should know all points. So all this is liver point, it means. And in this finger also, in these right hand finger also, now you know that if you make question mark here, left side is this. I cannot draw with left hand. So, but anyway, this side is liver. So if in finger one liver point you discover, you know the same direction, all these are liver points. This is all liver point. Little bit on the right side. And this is all liver point. Okay, this is all liver point. So this is not neat because I made with left hand. Now, now you see, not later sometimes. Mm, though it is available on the thumb also because thumb also has insect system but later first I will introduce thumb system thumb has also very good details and very powerful system because according to our science this thumb is representing zero world and all information of this universe is hidden in the thumb so in some in maybe next time or sometime I can focus this system and we will draw properly on this hand. But now at least you have eight fingers. Okay. And now this is probe. This is probe. You will not draw on patient hand like this. Don't draw like this. It is untidy. But because I wanted to show uh, in the class, that is why I have used the pen. So you see, now you should have patience. Every time I tell you, but it is again very necessary. You see, when you press, sometimes I see people are doing like this. This is wrong. This is not correct. See, when you press this point and you come to next point, and if you are doing quickly, patient jumping quickly from one point to another point patient will not have time to react how he will tell you by the time you jump 
you press this point and you come to here maybe this point was very painful but you jumped so quickly maybe this point was very painful but you jumped so quickly then patient attention has come to this present point and now this he is feeling pain here and this point he forgets many people doing like this and this is actually uh, in practicing sujog many people suffer uh, failures because they know signs very well they are aware of uh, the signs very well they know where is the place of point but stimulation part is wrong and this is tricky very tricky you can understand that why disease is not coming now if i'm explaining for liver you can remember your stomach point also for stomach as you know you can stimulate so why this is tricky like you see again i am stimulating here and very quickly i go here here so lot of pains all points are radiating some of the other pain and patient is confused and then he forgets past point and then he focus present pain so how you have to do this patient has liver disease you can name any disease liver even cancer yes you have to that cancer cell that cancer cell will have very sharp pain and now you don't be satisfied just here and oh i did treatment and finish no serious disease it means this is very important big responsibility to find the correct point and the correct point you never know maybe here or here or foot if i say that there are thousands and millions of points and comparing those millions of points and cells if you select if you become master of 50 points of liver and that is so easy so not difficult you see 1 2 3 4 same direction 1 2 3 4 like this and then here and here and mini system also so if it is in your habit then you will never have this boring sense tiredness sense because you know that oh this is very easy when you compare with trillions of cells very sharp result very effective result if you really master at least 20 points of each organ 20 oh this number is very less okay when you compare with thousands millions very very less and very easy so here this is big territory here you can check with the thumb because uh, this is uh, many many hundreds point here but check here and then you see how i'm doing slowly slowly check and allow patient to respond then press check press check and go next if patient says ah this is painful then i pick up the probe and then i will start searching here in this area one with patience two with patience then you have to tell your patient that this pressing will give you two types of pain one is uh routine type of pain this uh, uh we should not have nails yes you should not have nails yes it could hurt yes correct so uh you see one by one and educate your patient from the very beginning because if you will not tell that this is the therapy that here we uh, we are finding the most sharp painful point and finding that sharp pain and when we treat when we put seed on that point or acupuncture or color on that point then patient uh, uh, disease will be cured so give this information to your patient before you start doing this kind of activity on his hand because patient mind is aware patient fear will vanish because he knows that oh this finding painful point is for a uh, good purpose so he will support you he will cooperate you okay and when you start treatment give awareness and make him smile and tell him to take deep breathing you see how after having such a beautiful knowledge how you talk to patient how you hold his hand 
yes and what kind of environment you are creating in his mind what kind of environment you are creating in his body not just become technical and make him sit on the chair and you do quickly and say oh finished i did liver and you can go no not like this you are a smile healer you are not a technical doctor you are a healer smiling healer so you have to understand that now if you understand the deep science you see now point say here our work is to one by one slowly slowly we have to find the sharp point now the deep science says that finding this point you see will create electromagnetic waves and this is a real liver for example this is patient and finding for example i get the pain point here after checking and i said ouch and i want to say sometimes we say that we say page tell to patient that if you get painful point uh, you please inform us okay but before you do the real activity of finding the painful point first you should do little exper experiment on patient hand you have to check his threshold you should know how much uh, tolerance how much he can bear you should know his borderline you have to prepare his body you have to prepare his mind yeah because for example you are holding hand of old person or or young child baby then your pressure is little different okay so you should have this kind of intelligence wisdom then now when i say that how your treatment will give 100% result how so first find the point and this is pain yes ouch now now uh, professor park ji who used to say that um, finding painful point and you are waiting for patient to tell that doctor oh this point is very painful and you become very happy but but if you are really so joke real so joke doctor before patient tells before patient tells that i am having pain here his body will react fast see oh this is very painful ah i said body will react first and body will not give time to speak sentence so see the language of body but at the same time you are aware that uh, uh your pain is your pain is not very um, you know deep and that kind of pressure which you do on your hand also you can jump so you have wisdom you know that this is not your uh, you know hurting you're not wounding you're not creating hurt cuts like this so oh now ouch this is pain patient has difficult disease this is pain i found i checked this one slowly slowly checking if you don't have time at least check two points two areas but do it very systematically instead of jumping fast fast this is like doing nothing this is waste of time some people they do many seeds here also here also here also here also many many multiple seeds but this will not have that is why many people even they know everything they couldn't reach the perfect result because because not doing perfectly so if you don't have time check two points with pay only in the case that you don't find the painful point in two fingers then you go to third but check with patients one give time patient to react and you are not looking his face again and again don't make your patient scared if you look yes so now you see painful for example patient says ouch he is not speaking he say ouch this is ouch pain and his body speaks without sentence it means this is the for example this is the master point for example maybe you can get 1.2 point 4 point no problem now your finding point is done now what you will do next your work is not finished now really not only liver now you will learn nose eyes teeth all uh, body parts organs 
technique of treatment is the same. So if I'm focusing liver, it means you have to um, understand this. You have to apply this understanding on all points and on in all diseases when you're doing from uh, sujo point of view. You see this point, and now because finding is finished, we have we have become very we are successful in finding the point, and now we have to do treatment. Now what people doing? After finding the painful point, quickly see. They said, "Oh, I found the point, and I'm telling you where is mistake happening, and why? Why no result in spite of doing so many things, and and sometimes people they study level one, level two, level three, level four, and they miss all these things, and they jump to next level. They jump to next level, and they miss the beauty of this." So after finding the painful point, they quickly put seed and finish. This is wrong. Open. This is wrong. First, I did effort to find the painful point. So now, before putting seed, this is the stagnation. This is the obstacle. And now I will treat this point. Pause. And here also, you see, press or release. So it means, you see, this point, this area should become warm because, you see, this is the actual painful point. And every time you press, even the little pressure, even, even the gentle pressure, this is very painful point. Every time you press this painful point, electromagnetic waves are created, curative waves are created, and it reaches the main organ and it can treat. So so activating opening activating creating this, these electromagnetic waves is the are the waves which heal this point so if you just put seed immediately then it is helping of course but not 100 percent so now what i'm doing stimulating checking and if there is any physical symptoms pain in the present moment if your point is correct, immediately patient will report to you, doctor, my pain is, my abdomen has become very light and no pain. So this is the indication that you are in correct journey. So after doing this massage and little, because this point will become very sensitive and then maybe, but tomorrow, if you press, maybe not that sharp point. So... After doing, after this point has become warm, press release. Sometimes you can do like this also. So this point, I'm treating one point to save the time, but this understanding you keep with you and you will use this finding point. And then before putting seed, press that point. Yes, and then put the seed. Now you will put the seed. Now when you're putting seed, see now next part. For example, this is your liver point. I can finish this chapter in just five minutes also, but no result. Now, you will have result for sure. Now, this is your seed and eye of the seed will touch the skin. So now our idea is that we can, uh, our, this seed this eye, this white dot of the seed, this eye of the seed will touch, touch the main point. And now we can keep some more seeds. This is like surrounding points. So your center point will touch the main point. If patient has any disease of liver. Now, you see, when you're treating from level one point of view, we don't need to think that what, what is the uh, symptoms. We just need this report, liver disease. Where is the disease in level one? Just one word is important. You produce many types of reports. You should see all reports, but according to level one, where is the disease? This is the criteria. Disease, you, you, whether it is, uh, yes, this is moon seed. 
methi seed also you can apply but methi seeds i'm using on the yang surface because this is flesh here and it will not give that pressure this is little creating pressure okay so now you see i did this treatment here and if i find painful point here or here or here you can add additionally also but this is very perfect point sometimes finding that correct point you see finding correct point will create cure in uh, electromagnetic waves and these electromagnetic magnetic waves heal the disease but if you are not finding correct point if the point is not correct even you put seeds even you do this treatment for 10 days no result so this is not only for liver but for knee pain for shoulder pain yes and if you are not getting result it means our treatment is not perfect definitely you should get if you have not got result full 100% at least you should experience 20 percentage 50 percentage 60 percentage if your point is correct definitely because hand is similar to human body so this is a uh, probe uh, this is actually available in your cities uh, acupressure shop this is probe it is available and in emergency sometimes you can use that pin but that hair pin but it should not be very sharp yes better we get this probe okay now i want to show mini system liver point now what you have to do that you have many liver points and this person has serious liver disease our role is in main system you will press every day online also available yes so on main system you will do every day a massage okay then make a point uh, do it for uh, continuously you have to do because very serious disease and then you should not count how many day days you do it at least before going for medical check up you do it very seriously and very uh, you know target religiously you do it for one month before you go for medical check up and you will definitely see that some percentage is improved it depends from patient to patient sometimes big miracle you can see uh, in one uh one uh, you know report like first checkup sometimes you need several sittings but you don't hesitate because we are using at least we are using just moong seed we are using these seed and uh, these seeds does not have side effect so putting seeds for extra days like med medicine we can say oh we are putting uh, we are putting medicines in our mouth and this can have side effect so this is a little uh not good if you're putting medicine inside mouth but seeds you if if you have to do extra days don't worry how many time how many minutes it will take no okay so then now i want to this is liver and this is stomach liver stomach liver stomach liver stomach now uh, stomach you can immediately feel i think many of you if you have seen that series of stomach uh, you should also share your uh, results so that uh, our our members our family members they also know that oh this point is helping so they will also try on their hand if they are suffering yes yeah? they will get inspiration from you and they are motivated before putting medicine in the mouth they will also try to treat so you should always share uh, your experience okay now this is we call this is finger therapy this is called insect system liver point and where is the mini system liver point so in our science we have mini system also so one day very special class we can take on mini system but now uh, you can just because we have many types of systems as i told you many systems we have 22 system at least so here mini system has different concept how to see this is not insect system we have different concept so like professor palji who said that middle two fingers are legs according to basic system and side two fingers are arms so if if this is upper arm lower arm then this is hand this is hand so same way if this is hand then wherever hand picture you see this is universal law from now wherever you will see hand picture wherever you have hand information body will follow means hand is similar to human body so if this is upper arm lower arm this is hand then it means body you can see here 
only thing is very small uh, body that is why if you know the rule if you know the diagram whether you draw on small part or big part you are never confused so this is the small hand and in the square so this half at least you give to the fingers and left over half you divide it to three parts so this is stomach and here this is liver so same way here also liver divide into fingers are here so this is liver you will really see great change in his report even this patient is having uh, liver cirrhosis like and fatty liver something definitely if you are doing perfectly you will see the result so you have to check have patience yes for example today you did all in sex system thorough checking and uh, what is your question so how should we interpret the pain in the yin yang connect liver this is liver okay liver and uh, see in in sex system liver area small if patient has problem only thing is you have to know the point and then start searching now this is mini system mini system and after dividing into three parts so mini system we have direction rule uh, and this hand has many information many overlapping information so that is why to become very good to sujo practitioner if you are practicing one system it is like a book i always say it is like a book like this so one page second page third page fourth page it means if you are practicing uh, one system then you forget then you cannot see this page okay you see your present page of the, your notebook which you are reading so it means there is many overlapping this notebook has many many pages same way your hand has many metaphysical pages so if you are focusing one system you have to pay attention you have to be with the one system your consciousness should be with the that system like this is mini system this is op this is opposite of insect system so you you forget all systems because metaphysical copy and hand has many information so if you want if you really want to experience then stay your consciousness should focus one system arjun ka nishana chidiya ke ek aankh par so there are many system on the hand whatever system you have selected you have to pay attention on that system so that you don't see other system on, on hand if you see 22 system don't if you are working with the insect system then don't think about mini system and main system and other partial system if you are working with the mini system then you have to forget all these tech system this is very good confidence and very good clarity and this is very good way to check because you are not confused you are not confused at all you are aware that you know that this is a very powerful point so if you want to focus mini system you stay with the mini system so this is your liver point one by one and checking is the same i told you like this one by one and wherever you have a uh, point same method is the same now another thing is that on the axis this is liver now another important point so when you are treating this point okay already you will uh, you are using paper tape and seed you are putting this seed. just in the angle just here on the yin yang line there is spleen this is spleen is touching the yin yang line the other end of liver is spleen you see spleen so uh, what i want to say that uh, this spleen in according to our science liver and spleen has very good axis liver and spleen has very good axis so in all chronic cases you should definitely pay attention to liver liver already you have seen 
and spleen if you want to focus spleen then you have to arrange seeds in such a manner that one point definitely will touch main point and the other point will touch spleen see like spleen so liver and spleen any disease okay and don't even ask that okay this is my patient fatty liver this patient has liver cancer or liver cirrhosis or some inflammation or hepatitis or jaundice what treatment i should give answer according to sujok level 1 is what is the name of disease is not important where is the disease in body and where is the point in sujok this question is important okay and then your main research is find the painful point you have to do this you see if you don't do this finding correct painful point then patient will not get result you will not get result and then finally again going back to the doctor for operations and many other things and then time waste traffic jam traveling again sitting waiting period these days hospital hospitals you have to invest lot of time to meet one doctor so you can if you imagine really patients will come if you really imagine with that routine of medical field and you spend so much of money and you spend so much of time then very good uh, you know that satisfaction will come that oh now so much of time is invested in traffic so better i find painful point in all fingers okay so satisfaction comes inspiration comes yes so sitting in one chair you can find invest 10 minutes 30 minutes no problem at least you will save patient time also uh, you see if you heal one patient correctly perfectly advising all lifestyle habit and doing perfect treatment yes so you your investment time investment you can free this patient if this patient you can make him free and you can attend new patient instead of carrying all patients every day 100 patient 50 patients better you do quality treatment invest good time so that in very few days this patient is free from your clinic we don't expect you know we have to be very we have we should have that compassion also sometimes money is the criteria where we want that our patient should come to us again and again again and again because money clinical practice your clinical routine this should this is not neutral idea then you see instead you invite him again and again better you finish his treatment and you solve his problem as soon as possible and focus the world there are so many patient waiting on the earth okay and professor park ji who used to say and this is very true applicable because we have to understand this be these beauties of life also that if you are with a smile spirit if you have really good intention money will follow you naturally naturally if you are god's tool then god will create very good life for you god will create give lot of money to you so that you can work for him so now mini system liver point and now next thing i want to show now you you have i hope you are confident with liver points and now i want to focus liver meridian please write in the chat box are you confident with liver points because finding painful point now in class we are not checking all point but with patient you will check at least you have to do it uh, don't stop this treatment such a serious disease maybe two fingers today check all points maybe tomorrow to two day two fingers maybe this then third day this and don't and if you don't have time you mark you take picture photo and give to your patient and tell your patient okay you cannot travel you don't have time please do this in your home but don't don't skip your treatment don't skip if you really want to succeed if you really want to win 
because disease disease don't allow disease to win you are you have higher consciousness than disease because soul god creator is inside you bring your awareness to your higher self and disease will bow down only don't pamper your disease because all the time we are saying i have this problem oh i have this i have this i have that i have this it means you are pampering you are giving higher status to disease mini and insect system also as i told you that this is main system liver this is insect system liver and these are mini system liver now not only for liver diseases not for example you are treating stomach disease also or you are treating some brain disease also or you are treating some ovaries problem also so in your sitting you add this liver point i want here i want to tell you that two three points you should treat for example you are treating ovary disease or you are treating brain disease or you are treating stomach gas disease spleen point is here see this is liver yes the other end is spleen this is spleen this is in our science we say this is yin yang line liver cirrhosis how to find now again your question has come and then again i want to help you to understand this question that you see we have certain levels in sujok where we do some medical research also but for the beginner when we are practicing as per level 1 now like you wrote how to treat liver cirrhosis again i want to explain disease name is not important important is where is the disease in the body so your medical report says that disease is here in the body okay then where is the point whether it is cancer okay whether it is uh, cirrhosis whether it is jaundice i explained already and then i want to focus again so our idea is liver is suffering you write 50 names of diseases associated with liver but conclusion is liver is suffering liver is suffering then where is the suffering point on the hand you know sometimes first okay then you see all these are the points now enemy is hidden somewhere here here hidden here 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 this place this place this place this place and in this hand the same places and if you learn on one hand and then you to copy paste just overlapping wherever you made liver here here also same place liver if you have made liver here same place this direction direction will not change so now you have to find the point and name is not important disease name is not important where is the disease is important okay so our case is this so now what i want to say that there are four important things with all chronic diseases with all all chronic diseases treat pituitary gland for sure in all whether it is kidney or heart or pituitary gland because you know master gland then second is we treat pituitary is covers brain then we treat heart immune system when you apply heart point it also covers the respiratory system also it touches and then liver i have a habit if patient comes to me, me then i check all these points i give this and then this is kidney point not necessary that you give all treatment in one day but you should have this in your and then next is your main your disease like whatever disease stomach liver ovaries uterus so 1 2 3 4 5 for beginners though we have uh, we have very systematic formulas we have five step treatment like this some day if your consciousness grow i will add but ultimate purpose is that you get result if i give you knowledge now maybe you will not understand so better you go very simple way whatever whenever you have disease a person has disease 1 2 3 4 maybe next time when i have class then i will focus all these main points 
how to do this treatment along with the other digestive disease. So now you know this and now I want to focus meridian. Now meridian point of view, I will share another, another screen. Just a moment. Let me create. So sharing another screen. Just a moment. Give me one second. Sharing. Yeah, it's taking one minute. It will take one minute. Okay. Now I want to focus liver meridian. So we need one hand. Okay, so this hand you can see, where is liver meridian? So middle finger, exact center line. Line is not exact. So here I want to explain left hand and right hand, also right hand. right hand you see these are four lines this is in left and this is right so uh, liver meridians in your classical meridians you will see that uh, this liver meridians is in the leg yes so same way when you transfer on the platform of Sujo, Buell Meridian, this is in our science, we say this is Buell Meridian. So in left hand, we have liver meridian. This is also, this is liver, this is liver, this is liver, this is liver, okay? So now uh, I'm talking about very chronic cases. In acute cases, uh, we have little different consciousness. So we are using bar magnet. Bar magnet or color, okay. According to color, we are using green color for tonifying liver. Okay, now the point is that we have four liver meridians. Where I should do because I'm giving this information, keeping our new participants in our mind. We have ways to diagnose, we have many ways, techniques to select one meridian, but now for all so, so that all people can understand with the help of probe with the help of probe okay you will check uh, for these points which point is more painful and this point uh, actually all finger will show pain because this is joint and pain will be there so which point has the more, which point is very sharp, having very sharp pain is the criteria. For example, patient says that my out of four, this point is painful. This is uh, here, patient is getting very shooting pain. So it means 
this is a this is a, an alarm this is a symbol for you that treat this meridian because here patient is getting more sharp pain out of four meridians this is giving pain pain is telling you that disharmony is here yes so if uh, no in pathway disease like so jo participants here in this class can understand when there is pathway disease pathway means for example migraine migraine is located in the right side of the head so here we will choose right hand okay for sure because right gallbladder meridian okay but here this is deep organ problem okay in this case better we focus like if next time when we study large intestine for each organ we will have four meridians and then in this way with the help of probe you will check these four areas and out of four which is most painful for example this is more painful so this is my selection meridian out of four i select this so i will do treatment here so for chronic cases definitely that organ becomes weak definitely that meridian becomes weak if there is chronic problem you know any person suffering from so many days any uh, even building for example suffering for uh, for for since many uh, months and years anything any part any physical world item any any body world item suffering suffering since many months years then that definitely what do you think energy in that area is deficient or excessive when acute that is why we say this is um, acute problem and in this case energy is very excessive so if problem is since many years and months more than 4 months definitely uh, meridian is weak it means weak energy is flowing so like liver cirrhosis liver cancer where liver is becoming weak okay and hep like hepatitis this is acute problem here we do sedation opposite treatment now so we have to confirm because mostly chronic cases this is liver here and the other end spleen this is axis law axis between liver and spleen so our case is liver cirrhosis or weak liver no appetite yes jaundice happening more again and again patient is suffering like when we say okay give lift 52 it means liver is weak so after checking the point this is point is more painful and we decided to treat this so on this meridian now we can apply bar magnet or green color i will explain both bar magnet means white facing towards the here is yellow so white is facing this is called tonification technique bar magnet you can find in your acu in acupressure shop uh, nearby your city bar magnet is good you should apply in chronic cases 2 to 4 hours uh, you can tell your patient Uh, if you feel heaviness or some discomfort you can inform otherwise you can continue in case patient says that i am feeling heavy or discomfort then because maybe then you have to check this meridian because you know you never know sometimes checking painful point can confuse us because of patient not reacting properly sometimes patient want to gain sympathy even you touch his uh finger gently also he will jump because he needs more uh, compassion he needs your uh you know sympathy he needs and for this reason sometimes we are medic we sujo doctors are confused but you have you should have very intelligence and how to find because sometimes patient says all meridians are paining thinking that doctor if i say that all points are paining doctor will give more attention so it is very good to educate that if you help us then we can reach the conclusion so this is how we have to tonify and uh, for 2 hours minimum and 3 to 4 hours you can keep then if you are doing color therapy then every day during sunlight keep for 2 to 3 hours and you remove from with the help of alcohol don't keep more so green color is the dark green color 
So you have to start from here, for example. You have to start from here for liver case, whether you choose this hand or this hand, this is the starting point because this is the flow of the energy direction. So you will start your tonification, green color. This is marker, that is why you see red color. So you will start here and then you will do like this, green color, okay? See, and then you can, this is very powerful color for liver meridian. And in chronic cases, don't expect disease uh, result in one day because it some homo disease. It will take process. If it will process, and and you know everything inside will change. So this is how we are doing color therapy. Just green color. I should take good green like this. Green liver meridian tonification because I found painful point here. Okay, in case some discomfort is there, then maybe our meridian selection is wrong, or maybe our patient has misguided us unnecessary. He said that this is painful, or sometimes body language showing pain, but to attract the attention of doctors. So, you have you should be intelligent to understand that. Uh, yes, so better we can, then we can jump and we can come to this hand also or this hand also, depending, okay? So color therapy, if you are doing on this hand, then also you have to start here. If you're doing on this hand, start from here and come down. Yes, start. Now, how many days chronic cases don't count? Every day, two hours minimum. If you're beginner, you can start with two hours and also that this color therapy you do in the daytime. Okay, and then you keep for two hours every day, make a point, make a schedule that I will do this treatment. So what you can do that, do this color therapy in daytime because your hand also need free. If you finish your bathing, your water work, and then you can apply like this. And then in afternoon time or evening time, if you are not going in the office, you can find the pain. If your this hand is busy, then you find the painful point here. If this hand is busy, then you find the painful point here. A sex system, any mini system like this. This is very good treatment, but don't do seed therapy here because this is meridian. Meridian is working. Don't disturb the area of uh, this meridian. So don't do any treatment um, seed therapy here, but neighbor fingers, yes, you can do. Here you can do, here you can do. So this is very good combination. In acute case, we sedate liver. So when you're putting in, like John does. So now in acute cases, again, we have to find liver point, whether it is acute case, whether it is chronic case, whether it is cancer or cirrhosis, whether it is um, hepatitis. According to level one, find the point. Where is the liver? Where is liver? Where is liver? Where is liver? Only this thing you have to, you should keep in your mind. Where is liver? So you will find the point like I showed you in the insect system, mini system. Okay, only thing is in acute cases when disease symptoms are aggravating, inflammation is there, aggravation is there. In that case, we sedate. So we don't put green color here. You have two options. Metal cuts the wood and humidity can also sedate the liver. So you have two options. According to five elements, metal cuts the wood. So you can put brown color. So brown color means for sedation, you have to start here. So you will start from here because this is sedation, okay? So for sedation, this is rule for liver meridian. For other meridians, gallbladder stone, yes. Gallbladder stone, you have to use uh, yang meridian. Maybe next time I will elaborate, but uh, we have to um, do moxa therapy on the gallbladder area, gallbladder points. You have to do moxa therapy, okay? And it's now- Yes, we can we bind the session, ma'am. Yes, okay. <laughs> just, okay. just okay. So just two minutes. Okay, okay, ma'am. Just two minutes because I want to show one important point of liver. Just a moment. Uh, wait, I want to show my slide. Okay, finding my pre origin slide. One second, and then we will wind up our session.
Okay. Okay. Here it is there. Because I want to show correspondence of according to tri origin, I want to show that slide. Yes, it is here. Okay, maybe I will tell. Anyway, I, I will tell on my pad only, iPad. So one last point, which is very important, that slide is not opening, but I will show here very quickly. Okay, now for all liver diseases, according to tri origin, organ sequence, this is very effective area. So liver point is in this middle finger, middle phalange, front back, left right, this is the area to search this liver area. And this is not according to insect system. This is according to your, this is your liver. liver and we area. cannot see your palm on the camera also. Oh, you cannot no. see. No, we cannot see. Okay, then I will show maybe, I don't know why it is not working. So middle finger. No. Middle finger, then later next time I will explain. Middle finger, middle joint. This is very special area for treating liver disease according to tri origin uh, organ sequence. Okay. So means when I say that middle finger, middle phalange means not only front area, but uh, uh, focusing um, front and back, left and right. See now. Middle finger in both hand, middle phalange. Any person having liver disease, whatever the name of disease is there, no problem, don't focus on that name. So middle phalange, front, right, left. So this area, at least start treating this area. Also, you can do mudra here. Mudra also you can do on the insect system, but this is a very special zone of treating liver disease. We, we, we find painful point here. And if you remember that, I if you see your previous digestive system uh, treatment uh, lessons of stomach, and stomach was here. How I treated stomach in this phalange, same technique you will apply here. Now that recording is there available. And please see that recording. I think this is floating in your telegram group. Final sentence, whatever you have learned in stomach for stomach treatment, the technique, same technique you will follow here, treating liver. So you main system, insect system, mini system you have. And now triogen, this is very special joint and try to find the painful point. What you have learned in your stomach pattern, same pattern, okay? So we will continue this. I hope this liver is now points are clear in your mind. And don't forget to smile and don't forget to bring good change in your lifestyle. Thank you so much. Thank you. Smile. Thank you, ma'am. Smile. Thanks. Actually, we all are very much grateful to you, ma'am. Uh, this is 10 or 10. Okay. Mm -hmm. Your family is waiting for you. We know all this. But it, you are spreading the smile among these 160 participants. Thank you so much. And dear participants, uh, she is very much ready to spread the smile in the form of smile meditation or uh, each and every disease in detail, whatever we need, she will give. 
So please be with us for all the free sessions. She is ready to give on free of course basis. You know that uh, how much all the trainers are uh, charged for their courses, but we get all this divine knowledge through her on free of course basis. So please honor this time and be with us for all the free sessions. Only if you are there, you are the motivation for the group. Then only we can conduct all the sessions. Okay. Once again, I am thanking all on each and every participant in this class. Thank you so much. So much. Thank, thank you so very much, ma'am. Thank, thank, thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you. Gratitude.